Welcome back! Today we'll improve our mining ops, which means we will build a nice mining station. It will help us to more efficiently distribute the ore we've collected. If you haven't watched my other tutorials, then right now would be a good time to do so. But now, without further ado, let's go! We're back at the reach and as you might remember, our inexperienced miners are too stupid to use jump gates. As a result, they can't sell the ore they've mined, which is a problem we need to address. The solution is a mining station with a decent manager on board. You'll see how this will fix our problem later in the video, so let's build the station first. To build a station, you first need to claim some space. Look for a patch of space in a direct line of flight from the jump gate, so approaching ships don't have to stop and turn. Like around here. In our specific case, we also want to be in a good position relative to the hull parts factory. We'll need convenient access to them later when we further expand our presence here in the reach. Let's claim a plot. To do this, click on the plot tool on the left and select where you want to put your station. The closer you are to critical infrastructure like gates and highways, the pricier the plot becomes, as you can see. Our desired plot is further away though, so we get the cheapest price. Standard plot size is enough for now, you also can always extend the plot later on. Don't forget to pay for it or you'll be targeted by system security. There we go, here's our new property. Give it a unique name, like nice mining base, so you can find it better in lists and on the map. Right click on it and select plan build. That's the station editor. Here we can place modules to later have them built. Right click and drag the mouse to rotate the viewport. Sadly, the only module we have right now is a measly standard dock. We at least need some storage for the miners to put their ore in. You can buy them at the given faction's representative. You can find a way to this person pretty easily by just asking a member of the corresponding faction. Open comms, select where can I find and select faction representative. The course will be plotted automatically. We land at the wharf, walk to the office and talk to the representative in charge. Here we can buy modules. To build stations you need a base connection structure, a cross connection and a vertical connection. You also need a dock which we already have and storage modules. In our case we need solid storage. Small is large enough for now. Later, when bigger ships will be docking at your stations, you will need a pier module. But for now, the basic dock will suffice. After we've bought the blueprints, we place some satellites near the most important stations in Argon Prime, where the most traffic occurs. They will provide information we need once we've completed the layout of our mining base. Select your ship, right click where you want the satellite to be placed and select Civilian Satellite under Deploy at Position. While our pilot places the satellites, let's go and plan our base. A base will be built in the order you place the modules. So select the basic dock in the menu to the left and place it first. Drop it anywhere within the plot, preferably in a way that it faces the jump gate from Argon Prime. After the placement, you can select isolated axis to precisely move the module on the X, Y and C plane. You can also rotate it by using the rotation markers. Hold shift to snap to a 45 degree angle. After you place the dock, select the cross connector which will serve as a basic connection for other modules. Watch how it automatically snaps onto the possible connection points on the dock module. But let's not place it but discard it. Right click to get rid of it. Now move back the dock module a little bit to make sure that we've got enough space to add a peer module later on. Afterwards, place the cross connector. Then add two small solid storage modules. If you need to rotate them beforehand, place one somewhere inside the plot, then rotate it. Drag it into position and just copy it to skip the procedure for the second module. Right click on the placed module and select copy. Then place the second storage module. That's it. Mining base conception completed. Select Confirm module changes to confirm your plan. The build time doesn't tick down as you can see, 
because we lack a construction ship and resources. Here's where our satellites come in. Click on Assign or Hire Builder. The map will open. As you zoom out, ships will pop up in the list to the left. But only those you have inside scanning range of one of your ships, bases or satellites. One of the construction vessels is busy, so just select the free one, right click on it and select Hire. There we go. The construction vessel will now approach our base and get ready to build, once enough resources are present. Under Build Resources you see what's missing. They will be delivered by NPCs, so just select Accept Estimate under Available Money for Construction. That's it, now we wait for our construction vessel to arrive. While we wait, our first delivery has been registered. An Argon High Tech Trader is on its way and will deliver the Claytronics in 12 minutes. In the meantime, the construction vessel has arrived and switched into construction mode. Everything goes according to plan until the Claytronic Freighter arrives. Just before it docks, it gets attacked by a pirate and runs away. We quickly interfere and save the freighter, so we save the crew and don't have to wait another 10 minutes for our resources again. Now that it's safe, the freighter docks at the build storage and delivers our materials. Once everything is delivered, the constructor deploys its drones and starts building the station. After a long while of construction work, our station is finished. First thing we need to do is to assign a manager. Just select a random person from your ship's crew, right click on them and select work somewhere else for me. Then right click on your mining base on the list on the left and select manager as role. That's it, we have a manager now and can assign ships to work for the station. His skill overrides the crew skill of the assigned miners, so with every star a manager gains in skill, all the miners get better too. See how this fixes our problem? Let's assign some miners. Select one, right click on the base and select mine for commander, then select a group. Assign as many miners as you want this way. They will now go and mine ore and then land on your station to store it there. Now we need ships to sell the ore to whoever wants it. Assign another miner to the role, trade for commander and select a group, better in this example. These traders slash miners can be really cheap ones, they don't need mining equipment for example. After assigning them, you need to make sure they know what to do. This can be done via a trade rule. Right click on the station and select logical overview. Here select trade wares and activate ore, so the station knows it should trade with ore. Then select ore and create a buy offer and a sell offer. As you can see, the buy offer is unrestricted, which means the station will also buy ore from external sources. But we want it to be only supplied by the miners. Click the pencil to edit the trade rule. Here click the pencil again under trade rules to create a new one. We call it only buy from own ships and then we select trades and supply, so we can use the order universally on all our stations. Mark restrict all factions so only your own remains. That's it. Safe. The rule is now in place per default. Since we only want to limit supply, but want to sell to everyone, we untick Use Station Setting in the Sell Offer and set it to No Restriction. Perfect. That's all we need to do to set up the station. Next up is improving our trader's range. Since our manager has only one star, their max travel distance is only one gate but that's easily solved. We fly to the nearby hull part factory where we pay a visit to the local trader. She sells management seminars, we buy both. Now, under the crew tab of our mining station, we can right click the commander and open comms. Here you find give seminar. Well, give him some seminars. First the basic one, then the one star management seminar. This boosts the manager up to nearly three stars which enables our traders to travel a distance of two gates, which is way better. Sometimes you have to reassign a trader if the changes aren't applied automatically. So that should be it. But it isn't. Our trader isn't trading and he claims there are no trades found in the allowed sectors. Which is impossible because the refined goods complex wants to buy ore. The solution is, your selling price is too high. Go back to the logical overview and lower it below the buyer's threshold. 
there we go. Our trader is now loading up with ore and has set a course towards the refined goods complex to sell. Congratulations! You now have a fully automated mining operation. In the next video, we'll expand our mining base into a small industrial complex which will sell several different wares in the end. So make sure to like and subscribe if you don't want to miss this one. Fly safe and see you next time.